Trying to solve for y. So I multiply both sides by 2. And you get 2x, 2's cancel, equal 3y minus 4. Donna, now what? Yep. Add 4 to both sides. So we get 2x plus 4 equals 3y. And then, Justin, One. divide by 3. So you get y equals, and you can divide each one of them by 3. Or you can make it 2x plus 4, the whole thing over 3. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing either way. So, or... Which way do you like it better? Left or right? The right? Okay. Let's do that one way. So, I still have one more thing to do, Shelby. What is it? If it had originally started out under a square root or in the bottom of a fraction or had a domain issue to begin with, then yes, but it doesn't. But I still have something to do because my answer's got to look like this. Oh, so just um, put the, change the y to the inverse of g. Yeah, g inverse of x equals 2x plus 4 over 3. Good. And the reason why I didn't have to do any domain restrictions is because my original graph didn't have, or equation, didn't have any domain restrictions. Like that. And the next one's going to have us do a composition of functions. So we're going to put one inside the other. So we're going to find g of g inverse of x. So I know that g of x is 3x minus 4 over 2. And we just found g inverse of x. And it was 2x plus 4 over 3. So the one that's on the inside, I put inside the x for the other equation. Oops. So I'm going to replace that x with 2x plus 4. g of g inverse of x means that it's 3 times two x plus four over three minus four all over two. Well, looks nightmarish, but a lot of stuff's gonna cancel out. Life's gonna be great again. Do you see something that will cancel out? Three. The threes. I have a three on top and a three on bottom. So I can go ahead and cancel those. That gives me 2x plus 4. Then I have a minus 4 over 2. What else cancels? The 4s. So I have 2x over 2. What else cancels? The 2s. The 2s. So that gives me x. Hmm, interesting. So g of g inverse is x. Ah, 
<laughs> you remember in this? You did this in Algebra 2. All right, we're going to find G inverse of G of X. So it's going the other way. G inverse of X was 2X plus 4 over 3. And G of X is 3X minus 4 over 2. And we're just substituting it backwards the other way. So I'm going to put g of x in for x. So that 3x plus minus 4, sorry. I'm going to put right there for the x. G inverse of G of X equals 2 times 3X minus 4 over 2. All I'm doing is replacing the X with what's pink. Then plus 4 all over 3. It looks different than the other one because we've replaced it differently, but the same stuff's happening here. What? Something that cancels the twos. So I get 3x minus 4 plus 4 over 3. No one cancels. So Do four. we have to put that extra step right there or can we cancel everything out? Extra step right there? Yeah, we're going to cancel everything out. I would do it because that will get more complicated. Threes cancel, and you end up with X. So again, if I do G of G inverse, or if I do G inverse of G, for both of them, we got X. Which leads to what we have down here. If two functions are inverses of each other, F and G is what they're called here, then there are two special composite functions that will both equal the same thing. So f of g of x will equal x, and g of f of x will also equal x. And that's what should happen, because if they're inverses of each other, they should undo the other one. That's what an inverse does. So everything goes away except for the X. So for the bottom two examples, I'm going to work through whatever I can get through, but after this you should have no troubles, even if I don't finish this doing homework 14. Alright, so we're supposed to determine if they're inverse functions or not. So that means we use both of these. We have to do both. It's not enough to show one of them. So I'll do f of g of x first. So that means I'm going to put this in place of that x. So that's two parentheses x minus three over two and then plus three. So we see the twos cancel and the threes cancel. So the first part works. 
but it does happen occasionally that one of them will work and the other one doesn't. You have to show that both of them work. So g of f of x needs to also give me x. Let me get rid of the pinks here. This time I'll do blue. So in place of this x, I'm going to put this. Both on the other way. So I have 2x plus 3, then a minus 3, and over 2. Plus 3, minus 3, cancel. 2 is cancel. Sure enough, 